So let's talk about how fast you can get to a valuable, insightful dashboard in Full Story from scratch because of how flexible our funnels are. We're gonna go over to journeys. Let's take a look in journeys. I'm gonna create a new journey, brand new. Didn't exist before. Brand new journey page starts with search. Analyze, looks like we've got a bunch of people. All right, so let's take a search. We're gonna also include click events. All right, so I'm gonna collapse that down. All right, so let's let Story AI tell me what are the most popular. Looks like we've got a search, filter, apply, back to the search. That looks like a good one. All right, so what this is doing in Journeys is it's basically saying Sankey diagrams are complicated, but they are useful. We can help. So you generate a, this Sankey diagram that has all these complicated paths that people go down. But then what Story AI does is it goes behind you and says, of everyone who's in the top of this funnel, here's some logical breakdowns of how people move through your site in aggregate. 6% of everyone who enters this funnel takes this specific path. Super helpful. Now, what it does is it says, most of these people are going through this process right here, right? This is the pet, this is the flow, search, landing on the product page, great. Let's create a funnel. So here's my funnel. I didn't have to think about this. <laughs> I literally just went, to, went to, to journeys, generated a journey, selected, created it as a funnel. Here's my funnel. And then I'm going to, let's say, this is gonna be the search funnel um, and um, let's call it lanes, lanes search funnel. All right, save, lanes search funnel, perfect. And I'm gonna put it in lanes. I don't think I have one, okay. Put it in general. All right, so we're gonna go create a dashboard just off of this funnel, okay? So this is gonna be called uh, Lane's Funnel Dashboard. Boom. All right, so add my card. What card am I adding? I'm adding it from my library. Lane's Search Funnel. There's my funnel, but you know what? These funnels are really, really flexible. I actually want this to just be a single number. Well, it's gonna be the percentage. This is the conversion rate, and then I am going to go into this funnel and I'm going to let's say, uh, yeah, let's then add another one uh, for my library. I'm going to do same one. I'm going to add another and another and another and another and another. Why did I do that? That's a whole bunch of funnels. Well, it's because each one of these can actually serve its own little purpose. I'm gonna say single number. This one is actually going to be a session count. And then this one is actually going to be funnel size. Let's do, it's gonna be a single number. This one is going to be time to complete. And then this one is going to be a line chart, right? Here's my conversion rate, right? And then this one is actually going to be a full size view of the exact same thing down here, right? And then what I'm gonna do is right here, because this is people starting with search, I actually wanna know what percent, how many people actually start that process. So what's that gonna sound like? Well, that kinda sounds like a metric. And so we know that this metric is going to be total users who Execute a search. We're gonna use the custom event search. Uh, actually, I think it's a search page. Let's use this search page. There we go. There, search page divided by all people. And this is my search page visit rate. All right. There you go. Now I have a search page visit rate. Looks like it's about 28%. I am going to rearrange my cards. Search page visit rate. It's gonna be the fourth card over. There you go. And this is gonna be full size as well. 
There you go. So now you have a brand new dashboard about how people are actually flowing through this specific journey, which is gonna tell me overall rates. Even when I'm up here at the top, I can see a bunch of specific numbers about this funnel, as well as a metric that isn't actually related. It isn't actually part of the funnel at all. But take advantage of this, right? Your funnels are super flexible. They don't all have to look like a funnel. They can look like uh, a trend line. They can shrink down and be just a conversion rate, a total number. They can be they can be measuring and monitoring how long does it take for people to complete the funnels. These are super, super flexible tools to use inside of Full Story. And as a last little tidbit, once you put it on a dashboard, it's awesome because you can then take this and go, ah, oh, I've got these different segments that I want to skin my entire dashboard looking at these different segments. Okay, or maybe this entire dashboard looking at where the device type is, let's say mobile. Right, so once you get your funnel into a dashboard form, you can actually generate a ton of different visuals and insights just by changing what are the devices, what are the different segments that are going through this, the different time ranges, all of that is controlled right up here from your dashboard filters. All right, thanks so much.